museum closed for renovation, and the underground moves right in. Finn's gotta be inside. Hope I can be there to see the explosion. It'll change everything. Ooh, I can do it. Get over there. Gym theater. I need to drain the generators in those shacks, which are locked and powered down. Need a new power source. 
like that giant spinning mobile. Yeah, this'll work. Webs won't reach. This is gonna work. This is working. A couple more. Winning the science fair, getting to show off our converter here. We were so proud. this. You and me. She's got to be with our project down that hall. <clears throat> the rocket game. Did I win or did she? Guess it doesn't matter now. Come on, molasses. I 
want to see our project Welcome. while we're still young. For tomorrow's innovation is today's reality. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, where'd they put us? I've got the museum map on my phone. Our project's in a special exhibit on the top floor. Can't wait to see our names on the little sign like real scientists. Today, Oscorp Science Center. Tomorrow, every major museum in the world. Since the mid-20th century, scientists have envisioned human habitation beneath the sea. Looking out your window, someday you might see the brightly striped clownfish, or even the menacing anglerfish. I'm naming that one Howard. You name one. Uh, Leviathan. Love it! Algae farms are the key to sustainable, healthy living beneath the sea. Commercial and industrial algae cultivation is already used in a number of products, from colorants to pharmaceuticals. I wonder what algae tastes like. Probably kale. Ugh, I hate kale. This model combines the design of a submarine with the deep-sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. You and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Think underwater living sounds like science fiction? Think again. Underwater habitats have been used around the world since the 1960s. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building up to save space. Tomorrow, we could be building beneath the sea. Pass. What, you scared? Of sharks, the dark, tiny enclosed spaces? It's a no from me. The Earth is bigger than you think. 95% of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored and could be the next frontier in human habitation. It's weird to think how little we know about our own planet. This dive suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The first pressure-proof diving suit was developed with salvage work in mind. Today's suits such as these are used by salvage workers, scientists, and explorers. Think they'll let me try it on? Would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. Can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. Let's go to the main hall. Special exhibits upstairs. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. Using a shape memory alloy, or memory metal, Oscorp scientists created this prototype of a metal that could change its shape while maintaining integrity. One day, memory metal could be used in many types of machinery, and even in your own home. Whoa, check it out. Metal that changes shape. I like the idea, but it looks kind of... Basic. Bet it could be improved. Architectural innovations are the key to human survival on extraterrestrial planets. This model home would protect human inhabitants from the low temperatures on Mars. Check it out. You want a house on Mars? Sure. If I could bring my mics, audio setup, sampler. They won't let you take all that. They will if they want good music on Mars. This model proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars, our closest neighbor in the solar system. This community is designed to draw on abundant water and counteract low temperatures, making human life possible on the red planet. It's like a whole little community on Mars. Needs coffee shops and street art. I think that's the thing. You have to just make sure they get on the Government and privately owned spacecraft explore our planet, solar system, and galaxy. To communicate with them, scientists use radio antennas to send and receive messages across local and interstellar space. Oh, I bet the sound quality on these are dope. Not from space.
solar energy, already popular on Earth, could provide heat and electricity for space stations, shuttles, and extraterrestrial settlements. These Oscorp stickers show how flexible and affordable solar cells can be. Go on, take a sticker. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, shiny? Those are portable adhesive solar panels. Ooh, portable shiny. This Oscorp rover, adapted from models currently used on the moon, can be operated as a man or unmanned vehicle. Used to carry minerals and find water sources, the Oscorp rover would make exploration possible on Mars. Scans for minerals, carries people across toxic wastelands. What can't it do? Can you imagine driving this thing down fifth? Move, pedestrians. <laughs> It was nice of your dad to drop us off. We would have gotten here faster if he turned off sirens. <laughs> Definitely would have made an entrance. Ooh, we gotta play. Oh, come on, it's just button mashing. So you admit defeat? Never. Buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 When's Rick gonna get here? Space? He just texted. Said he was headed into the subway. So it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours? Basically. Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um... Our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. Can't let you go upstairs. Thanks anyway. So we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. Right, but see that door? The hallway behind it wraps around to the elevator. Can't just break in. We have to. They're taking down the exhibit tomorrow, and then we'll never see it. Locked. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones would work, but they won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Something reflective. It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean changes shape? Look at you breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. Look, solar mirrors, and sticky on the back. Perfect for tricking a light-sensitive lock. Now we need something we could slide under the door. Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum app. This stuff is crazy. That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's go. Oh, oh man. Oh. Sorry. All good. I'll attach the sticker. Let's get that door open. Look how the external tools interface directly with the command module's computer. We could recreate the idea, but with a neural interface. It would overload our central power. Not if we integrated it over the entire mesh from multiple entry points. Hmm. Do you think you can handle it? With enough time and a lot of coffee? Absolutely. <laughs> 
I'll supply the coffee. Well done, Peter. I couldn't do this without you. We should probably head back to the lab. We've overstayed our lunch break. Oh, Doc, I'm so sorry, but I've got to take the afternoon off. It's an emergency. Again? Peter, is something bigger going on? Perhaps at home? You know you can talk to me about it. Oh, I, I'm fine, but I'm sorry to run out on you again. Not at all. Work will be waiting when you get back. Thanks, Doc. This is either genius or really, really stupid. If we open our own research lab someday, that's what I'm naming it. Genius or really, really stupid. For all your R&D needs. <laughs> I've got the light. Tell me when the sticker's pointed at the sensor, and I'll turn it on. No one's looking at us yet. Gotta hurry. Need something else. We gotta try again. We did it! Come on! Our project awaits. That was awesome. I'm gonna miss doing stuff like this with you. What are you talking about? Uh, hello. You'll be at Brooklyn Visions next week. I won't. I'm not gonna vanish off the planet. We'll still hang out. You'll be busy. Not that busy. I'm gonna make time for us. Seriously. Okay. Ugh, this is getting mushy. Come on, let's head upstairs. Hey, Dad. Hey, Miles. Hi, Mr. Davis. Finn says hi. You kids having fun? Make sure you get a picture of your project. Dad, it's not a big deal. It's totally a big deal. Okay, okay, we'll get a picture. Love you, Dad, bye. This is it. Our project's in the back. Think they got a converter all hooked up? Otherwise, what's the point? They'll need to feed biomass in, though. Maybe hook it up to a trash can. The Oscorp Science Station positioned at one of two stable Lagrange points between Earth and the Moon, could one day be a permanent home for human scientists and explorers. Man, it'd be so cool to live on a space station. Nuclear energy is the key to our future as we explore interstellar space. Fuel efficiency and transportation will be vital components in reaching and settling planets at the far reaches of our solar system and beyond. Oscorp Nuclear Reactor. Rick's working on something that's supposed to make nuclear energy obsolete. Do we get to know what it is? Nope. Roxxon's keeping it super secret. Cultivating agriculture in nutrient-enriched fluids, what we call hydroponics, could make farming in space a reality. Wonder if they can grow flowers in space. They're probably more interested in food. Why? You trying to impress someone? I like to be prepared. In case I get a crush on a cute astronaut. <laughs> okay. This engine, used in the Apollo space program, is one of the most powerful inventions that uses liquid fuel. Today, Oscorp is building on that technology to maximize fuel efficiency, making deep space exploration possible. The most powerful single nozzle liquid fuel rocket engine ever made. I'd love to build something like that. No kids, don't touch that! One of humanity's greatest accomplishments came from the Apollo space program. We reached the moon. 
Since then, scientists have dreamed of traveling beyond and someday settling our solar system. Lunar module from the Apollo program. Hey, we can name our time capsule after that. How many Apollo missions were there? 16, 17, I think. Apollo 18. I like it. I need to get that picture of you and our converter for your dad. Our project. Oh, ho, ho, wee! Would you look at that? Genuine award winning scientists. No one told us we were in the special exhibit. Ticket only. How'd you get in? Uh, I bought a ticket. How'd you get in? Not important. <laughs> hey, huddle up. We need a picture. You gotta be in it too. You helped us get it working. Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Scoot over. All right. Say alleles. I am not saying that.
to Harlem. Now, before Finn destroys the reactor. Yankee, talk to me. How's the evacuation going? Ah, rocks on another are all over. It's like a war zone. Are you safe? My mom? We made it. There was about a dozen people. But... It's breaking up. Who are you? Yankee! If you can hear me, I'm on my way. Hang tight, man. Please. I've never seen a storm this bad. Genki, can you hear me? Genki! Hang on, guys. I'm coming. Okay, safe. Let's go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yankee, I'm headed east. Where are you? Hiding in Teo's bodega. It's really bad. You gotta get... To... They're in Teo's bodega. I'm close, but I need to take care of Roxxon and the underground before the streets are safe. That's our apartment building. Please don't burn down. I'm getting lost in the blizzard. I need to head toward the gunfire. get people clear. I'll be back. I know. Okay, people! Check every door! We don't leave anyone behind! change the specs. You're not just gonna destroy Roxxon Plaza. You're gonna vaporize all of Harlem. I'm not gonna let you lie to me again! You're too late.
can't let you do this. I can't let you stop me. Don't you see what the reactor's doing? Destroying the plaza! Tearing down Krieger's monument! Not what I'm doing! It is! 
even if you won't see it. Please, Finn, I'm telling you the truth. That's absurd. I shouldn't have lied to you about getting into the underground. If I can go back, you can't.
get them far away. I can't hold this in much longer. Get out of here, kid. We'll take care of them. Did you see his face? You did good, Spider-Man. Thanks. Who is he? That guy? <sighs> He's our Spider-Man. They're deep fakes! You understand me? Do you have any idea who I am? I will own you! Yeah, will... yeah, we know Ow! who you are. I will own you! Do you hear me? That's right, friends. Simon Krieger is in prison. Aaron Davis, a.k.a. The Prowler, flipped on him and rocked on. Davis will serve time, but he could get a reduced sentence. I think we can all learn something from what happened in Harlem. Together, we're stronger. And that having your own neighborhood Spider-Man is pretty great. Looking good, Haley. This is where we come from, yeah, we did it. City on my back, I'm committed. This is where we come from, yeah, we made it. Now the whole team celebrating. We like, uh-oh, oh, 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 oh. Probably thought you knew a new day is approaching. Turn the gray skies into blue. I grew up on these same lines. Put a hard knock, had to get it on a hard time. Took the hard shots, but we made it. Anticipated, highly decorated. The whole team is winning. Hey man, what's up? The victory is all mine. All right, man. All mine, and everything is all mine. All right. All right. Still can't get over that suit. So cool. Gotta be me. Yeah, you do. Pete, does this job ever get easier? Some of it, yeah. Some things never get easier, though. 
Roxxon did this uptown because they saw us as disposable. Me, Rick, Finn, all of Harlem. I think part of our job is making sure they can't get away with it. We'll add it to the Spider-Man oath. Go time? Go time. Residents of Harlem are still feeling the effects of the recent citywide uprising of the group known as the Underground. While the Roxxon Corporation deals with a rash of lawsuits, newly elected city councilwoman Rio Morales addressed the media yesterday to make a plea for additional public funds to assist with the... Vitals are good, circulatory system healthy, um, brain activity normal. He's been in there long enough. Mr. Osborne, I understand he's your son, but his I disease... I want him, Kurt. Kurt. 
or we may be underestimating the potential danger. I said, get him out now. So I keep hearing irrational raves from hormonally unbalanced youth Jared's age. Wait, you're how old? Good heavens, man, get a real job. About this friendly neighborhood Spider-Man app. They claim this young Spider-Man can do anything. <laughs> well, I just used said app to place an order of saganaki from my favorite Greek restaurant in Astoria specifying I wanted it delivered fresh and in the traditional Greek manner. Set a blaze in front of me. We shall see if our boastful boy, Spider-Man, can fulfill this. Here you go, Mr. Jameson. Gotta go. Jared, call 911. Spider-Man's broken in and is killing us with fire. I'll be Darn, this isn't delicious. Go to commercial, Jared. I got some feasting to do. Oh no, you should have ordered your own. This is mine. Mine, Jared. Out.
Goodbye, Finn. Hey, Ma. You busy? Not too busy. What's going on? I just left Trinity Church. I was thinking about Finn. And... Tell me about it. She saved my life. And yours. Everybody's. But she's the one who put us in danger in the first place. After seeing what happened to Rick... I get why she did it. People are messy. Take your Uncle Aaron. He's the reason Krieger's in jail. And he helped us get people out of Harlem. But every time I look at him, I think of all the pain he put your dad through. Yeah. You don't need to make a judgment on Finn's life, Miho. Or her death. Just remember who she was, and why you loved her. You always know what to say. <laughs> That's my job. Call me back if you need me. Entiende? See, si. Te quiero.